I grew up in a really small town, in a country town, and growing up in a small town in a rural community, you spend all of your days outside. And so your entire life is about being physically active. Being outside almost all the time turned me into a physical person. And so the profession of physical therapy is just a very natural fit for me. I became a canine physical therapist because of a eureka moment. And it started a question in my mind of, well, if I learned evidence-based medicine as a human PT, why are we not practicing that same evidence-based medicine on dogs when it comes to physical therapy? So when I came to CSU, we created intentionally the human model of rehab in the veterinary teaching hospital. What that means is the dogs have therapy from critical care all the way through return to sport. All of the dogs who come to see me in rehab have diagnostics already. I know if they have disc disease or osteoarthritis. I know if they have a cruciate or if they have an elbow injury. And when I know that, I can create a better treatment plan for the dog. And I can create a better evidence-based treatment plan for the dog. I think it's important for dogs to be comfortable because they're such an integral part of our lives as humans. They are an extension of who we are. And when they hurt, we hurt. If they can't go for a walk, we don't go for a walk. We're all connected very deep down 